Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix this uh, error code, okay, which is basically ARR underscore GFX underscore D3D underscore init. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can do it. I'm going to show you some simple fixes, then I'm going to show you the last and most important fix, which I really do not recommend you doing. But, uh, because it, sometimes it just corrupts my PC, but most like, but sometimes for some people it works. So if it doesn't work for you, bring it back at the same. But I'm going to show you first of all the simple fixes. First of all, make sure your drivers are installed. This is just a simple fix and you need to know that. Um, to install DirectX 11, and make sure DirectX 11 is installed. Make sure uh, VC, uh, uh, Visual Studio, uh, C++, Red Set uh, are installed. How you can make sure this is actually, um, how you can make sure if it's actually installed or not, you're going to click on Windows S, and then you're going to uh, you're going to search, actually not Windows S, you actually can open with a control panel. Then you're actually going to click open control panel, from that control panel, you're going to click on install a program. Now, if you see um, Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 all the way to 2015, 2022, that means you actually install it, okay? Um, so, no need to actually reinstall it. Um, a DirectX 11 need to be installed, of course, and up-to-date. Your All your drivers need to be up-to-dated. Um, and make sure you're only plugging in your mouse and keyboard only if you're on PC. Um, uh, make sure, oh, actually, it's on PC. Uh, make sure only your mouse and keyboard are actually the ones that are installed. One thing you could do is actually going on to oh, click on open file location. From open file location, you're going to click on oh, play GTA V and then on properties and then go into compatibility. And from compatibility, click on run this program compatibility mode for uh, Windows 7 and then run this program as an administrator. And click on change this uh, change settings for all users and click on apply and then try it. Okay. If this also doesn't work, here is one thing you need to do is actually also to make sure all your, all your background uh, apps are, in, uh, are um, uninstalled. All right, uh, my bad. Are right, closed. Also, verify your integrity of the games. And now you've done all of this, and it didn't work. What you need to do is as following. This is the last fix. Okay, you're going to click on this PC. From this PC, you're going to click on right click, and then properties. From properties, you're going to click on advanced system settings. From advanced system settings, actually, you're going to be over here on the computer name. You're going to navigate all the way to advanced, and then settings. From settings, you're going to click on advanced, and then change. Now, uh, make sure actually uh, you, you un make sure you're on the C drive or basically the uh, system manager and uncheck it. Now, I do have 16 gigs of RAM installed, but um, you're actually going to look for the maximum amount of RAMs you're installed and make sure you allocate it. So basically, basically custom size, you're going to make it sure that you have you put 8612. Okay. Um, Set it to custom. Eight six one two alpha eight one nine six nine eight two eight one nine eight one eight one nine two. My bad, uh, it's 8192, uh, okay? Make sure you allocate these numbers, okay? 8192. Basically, you're going to uncheck automatically managing paging file size for all drives, and then you're going to click on custom size, and then you're going to click on this. Then you're going to click on set, restart your PC, and then it's going to work, okay? Um, make sure it's just on both, okay? If it doesn't work first on the C manager, we basically have the system. Uh, if it, put it on the data, where basically you have... Um, uh, you have uh, uh, basically where you have your game installed. This also doesn't work. If this also doesn't work, um, uh, try putting it only in the system, only on basically the place where you actually installed the GTA. Okay. When you once you've done that, it's actually going to work, and it's not going to do anything, uh, and it's going not going to do anything with your PC unless if it actually doesn't. If it if your PC starts to buffle up, uh, just um, uh, just um, roll back your um, it just do not change your virtual memory again to the uh, initial size or it's normal. Also, one thing you actually could do is actually um, adjust click on this for adjust for um, best performance. And once you've done that, it's actually going to find your your PC actually moving a little bit faster, and this is going to help you so much. One thing also you could do is actually clicking, I uh, was actually opening a uh, control panel. From control panel, you're actually going to go to, um, from control panel, you're going to go uh, continue to uh, large icons. And from large icons, the power options, and from power options, you will make sure it's high performance. You've done that, all of these, restart your computer, and it's going to work. Do not worry. Um, so yeah, guys, that was it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.